The Enrichment Services Program, or ESP, is a nonprofit community action agency that was created nearly 50 years ago to address the causes and conditions of poverty. Belva Dorsey, the CEO of the Enrichment Services Program, explains the different services the ESP provides. The first category would be early childhood education. With our Early Head Start program, where we're able to serve pregnant mothers and children between the ages of birth to three, and also our Head Start program. The second category of our programs is what we call our um, employment training, and we partner with Columbus Tech and Wallace College to actually teach the class and we provide a scholarship. The third category we will call it our stabilizing services because as we try to move families toward self-sufficiency, we know that some of our families need to be stable first. And then the fourth category is what we will call family strengthening services. So with that group of services, we complete an assessment on our customers. The Enrichment Services Program serves eight counties across West Georgia and one county in East Alabama. In those mentioned counties in Georgia, there are over 46,000 people who are unable to meet their basic needs. So in hopes to lower this number, the Enrichment Services Program currently has two campaigns to help children and families in need. With our Choose for Success campaign, individual, individuals or Corporations, businesses can actually adopt a child and, or sponsor a child and provide them with the school supplies that they need for an entire year for $25. We also have the 50 for the Family initiative. Someone can actually provide $50, which will go towards helping families overcome barriers and meet some of the needs that they have. Dorsey tells me that being a part of a nonprofit organization can be challenging, yet rewarding. We're really focused on our bottom line, which is fulfilling our mission and serving individuals, in our case, who are come from primarily low to moderate income. Um, so some of the challenges that we face include having limited resources. Sometimes we can't provide the competitive wages for staff. And some of the ways that we try to overcome the limited resources is we will, for employees, we try to offer very competitive businesses. The Enrichment Services Program is part of the Combined Federal Campaign. This campaign allows federal employees to donate a portion of their payroll check to local or national nonprofits. There are some other ways that you can donate as well. Just remember the three I's. We'd like for people to consider making an investment, which is the, the financial contribution. We'd like for them to consider being involved by volunteering and then we also like people to consider using their influence for us. And one of the examples or one of the ways that somebody can use their influence is as we're looking at policies that are being made or decisions that are made that impact individuals from low to moderate income, then people can speak up and advocate. For more information on the Enrichment Services Program and even to make a contribution, just visit their website, www.enrichmentservices.org. With this Into Columbus Nonprofit Spotlight, I'm JT Fellows reporting.